The show must go on. Cirque du Soleil is getting ready for its second act as it exits a bankruptcy brought on by COVID-19. Much like its famed acrobats doing extraordinary things, the Canadian troupe says it hopes to bounce back by 2022. This year, uh, this year was full ups and downs after it suspended shows and laid off nearly its entire workforce. Now a group of creditors has set the stage for it to make a big top comeback. I spoke to the head of Cirque du Soleil earlier, Daniel Lamar, who told me the company will be profitable when it's back in the tent. So what we hope is uh, to reopen first uh, our shows in Las Vegas because our cast and crew lives there. So we're hoping to uh, open sometime next summer. As for our touring shows, it's more complicated because the market has to come back to normalcy, which means airplane has to work, uh, all the boundaries between the countries has to be reopened. So we're talking uh, more about uh, the next fall for our touring shows. What changes have you made, uh, I mean, uh, to sort of to, to ensure a long-term profitability or at least sustainability of, of the company and its various uh, performing troops and uh, the, the, the residents and those that talk. Bearing in mind that every theatre group, every pr performing arts has had difficulty, uh, but what are you going to do to protect yourself now? Yeah, as you said, the entire industry has been shut down for many months and unfortunately several other months to come. So what we have done is we have planned with a very conservative approach uh, you know, even with the new owner that I've reinvest new money in the company, we're going to be very, very careful the way we're going to uh, spend it in the coming months. Uh, we will keep the burning rate as low as possible in order to keep our money for the relaunch of our uh, new shows. So we are having a leaner organization that will go back to profitability as soon as we reopen our show. How much more are you putting into the shows? What's what's new? Yeah, what we will do is uh, we are going to use that opportunity uh, to bring new acts. Uh, and on each show, we have a department here, which is called the quality of shows. So we will ensure that with the reopening of every show, that we bring some new acts. And more importantly, that we keep the level of quality that our fans are expecting. You know, I look at what's happening on Broadway that's not going to open until middle of next year at least. I look at the, the West End in London, which is closed down. This is, a, this is an industry, the performing arts is an industry, the crisis of which I don't think we fully, the rest of the population fully appreciates. No, you're right. Uh, just for us, you know, we were talking about four... 1,700 employees that lost their job overnight. Within 48 hours, we had to shut down all of our shows. So that's why today I'm so relieved that the future of the company is guaranteed. And more importantly, I will be even happier when I'm able to recall our former employees and tell them, come back home. And that's what is keeping me motivated is keeping the focus on having this opportunity to relaunch, rebirth an amazing organization.